Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. We got about four inches of snow yesterday and winter is definitely set in here. I don't know about you guys down south, but up here in the north country, we have winter in full bloom, which uh, to me means I can start tinkering around in the tackle room a little bit more and doing some of the projects that I like to do. And I think as a lot of you probably know, from watching the channel, I like to tinker with tackle. And I've always been an arts and crafts kind of guy. And you know, one of my favorite stores to find stuff uh, for tackle is a good arts and crafts store. You know, you can go there and find all kinds of crazy stuff, all kinds of things to make baits out of, all kinds of different pens and paints and all kinds of stuff to play around with. So I do really enjoy a good arts and crafts store. And Today, I want to share with you one of the crafts that I do over the winter months. This is always a winter project for me, and it's a way to spruce up plastic baits. And it's a reason why, guys, you need to have a sewing kit. If you don't have a sewing kit, you should have one, just in case a button pops off a shirt or whatever. You need to know how to sew just for basic clothing. But at the same time, if you want to learn a few fishing tricks, you need to have a sewing kit. So here are some simple things that I like to do with a sewing needle to spruce up some baits. And some of these different uh, various, uh, I guess, fabrics or materials I use, I can get either at a craft store or if you have a good fly tying shop in your area, it's also another fantastic place because they have all the cool stuff, the different feathers, uh, just different hairs, that type of thing, the fly fishing community knows what they're doing when it comes to utilizing materials to make fishing baits. So a great place to go is a fly tying shop. Some of the different materials that I like to use, uh, bucktail here, hair, I've got pretty much every color you can imagine in bucktail. Uh, this is an ostrich plume right here, an olive one. This is a silver one. Uh, those you can get at craft stores a lot of times. This is from a fly tying shop, but you can get them at craft stores as well. Uh, all the different marabous. Uh, here's a red, a red marabou, black marabou. Uh, here's another feather. This is a hackle hen feather. You can see all these separate little feathers. So all of these different materials, and I have so many more. I mean, here's, this is just uh, like Christmas tree tinsel that you can that you can buy. I mean, again, that's a craft store purchase. Really, what you're looking for is any sort of material that you think may spruce up your favorite soft plastics. That's all we're doing in this video, guys. Really simple to do. Here's a couple examples of the things that I like to do. If I've got with some of my swim baits, I like to take a little bit of marabou and take my needle. So I'll take a piece of marabou, like this little piece. And sometimes the, the quill on the marabou is strong enough where you can just slide it right through the bait and pull it through. And if that doesn't work, you can grab a, a normal sewing needle, put the quill of the feather through the hole in the needle and push the needle through. Uh, so I like to do that a lot on swim baits or just various plastics because it kind of gives a uh, a gill appearance to the baits, as you can see in that, uh, like that hackle hen, this is the feather. That's again, you can pull the feather right off of the, the whole patch of feathers, poke the, poke the quill part through, and then just pull it through to, to get to where you want. So like, this is something I've been doing with smallmouth. Uh, goby fins look just like a hackle hen. So I'll pull that feather through and then I'll just cut it off and then I'll poke one through on the other side and I've got two really big round pectoral fins which is exactly what the gobies look like. So I'll put two of them on something like this. If I'm throwing a swim bait on a, a bottom bait, you know, if I'm either dragging it on a, a drop shot or I'm using it on like a, a biffle head type uh, bait, that's a great, a great little key thing you can do to mimic a goby is to put a couple hackle hen feathers to create pectoral fins. Really looks similar to it. Those little feathers just sit out to the side. Looks really good. Uh, I'll take soft stick baits and I'll take, you know, like a chunk of that marabou 
and I'll slide it right up the tail just like that and it stays in there perfect you know in this case I just took the the marabou feather put it in a needle slid it right down the worm and you've got a nice you know interesting looking uh a uh, stick worm where if you wanted to put it on a shaky head it'll stand up you get the marabou feathers you rig it on a wacky on a wacky rig and you'll still get the great uh movement of a marabou i marabou is one of my favorite materials to utilize for making baits and that like another thing you can do is like that tinsel you know in this case i was just going to show you i took one strand of tinsel here's my needle and i literally just threaded the worm and you get to the point where you know, you're at the end of the worm and you can take your scissors. I do not want to lose my needle and cut off that tinsel now to create just little, little wings. So I'll cut it there, here, you know, and I'll get my little, uh, my centipedes, my centipede look to it by doing that. I mean, it's a simple, simple thing. I can trim those shorter if I want, but again, just a simple technique to utilize a sewing needle to thread materials through your bait. In most of these cases, like with this, you don't need any sort of glue. You can utilize glue if you want, but I do want to point out that if you wanted to put like, say with this feather, if I put a dab of glue on there and thread the feather through, you do not want to get any of the glue on the, the feather itself because that will just ball it up and make it tight. Uh, but it's really amazing how well this stuff stays in the material. Now, some materials are softer than others, so you do want to pay attention to it. But if you want to use glue, you can use glue. I just, you don't want to thread the whole piece of tinsel through your glue because it's just going to get the whole thing crusty. Um, and you just want to stay, you know, away from your marabou material because you don't want that sticking together. But you can utilize glue. You just got to be a lot more careful. But in my experience, you don't have to do it. So... Guys, go get yourself some materials, go to your local tackle shop, spend a day in front of the TV watching a football game, playing with a needle, threading some different materials, like an ostrich plume where you can grab just one of these, thread it right through the needle. It's really amazing what you can do with some of these materials. You know, like I said, a lot of this just for me goes back to kind of my my early years of tinkering and making tackle and tying up baits with fly materials, but I've kept them all since. I have a box that's probably that big that's just got various materials. And uh, it's pretty cool what you can come up with. It's a different look that the fish aren't seeing. And it's something that you're not gonna get in a mass produced bait because it's too expensive for most big companies to, to take the time to do this. But these little things can create a difference and it just gives you something neat and it's just always catching uh, it's always very uh self uh, it's just exciting and fulfilling to catch fish on baits that you've you know helped spruce up and make so guys spend the winter months tinkering with your tackle it'll give you you know something to do during the winter and it'll give you a little bit more enjoyment when you do get back out in the water so thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, hit that like button, share it on social media, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video.